copy it. So this is the after action report for Paula Bent for the crown report for you. And here are these pictures. I think. Hmm, it's having to think about it. We did some little threw it a few curveballs and it's having to pull pictures from all over the place. But here we go. This is from the first time I was yep. here, pictures of your house. That's how your chimney yeah. used to look. Yep. It just occurred to me I didn't get a similar picture of how it looks now, but it's too late now. So. But this is how it was before, and you, just so you to refresh your memory of what it oh, looked yeah. like, so yeah. you can you can see. And it started yesterday morning. This is the first picture we took. I'm trying to figure out how to do a time lapse, and I couldn't get the settings right on the camera. But That's all right. we started putting up the um, the scaffolding there. And you see how it started. We got our scaffold put up, and I realized I hadn't gone around and taken before pictures of the thing, so you can see in detail how it looked before we got started on it. All the pretty green moss and everything mm. growing there. But uh, that pressure washed it. Well, what a cool picture. Isn't that kind of neat? Yeah. yeah. Dad gets yeah, it. that's a cool picture, Bill. Mm -hmm. You get pretty, that. Yeah. Pretty nice one. And, uh, Shows so, off the house a little bit. Mm -hmm. Got it. Pressure washed and cleaned up for you. So at the top of it, I didn't spend a lot of time on the top because I was going to take the top yeah, off. Yeah. That's just a beautiful crown as in part of the chimney camp, I guess. So we began to reduce that to rubble and an awful lot of mortar in that crown. It was fun getting off, but it came I off with... I can see that now. Wow. Uh, yeah, it just really it about six inches of mortar piled up in the middle there. Just, mm. And the interesting thing was is that this flute tile, they just broke the flute tile. It's just about a one-foot section of flute tile and they broke off. Mm -hmm. And they just kind of sandwiched it in mortar all the way around to kind of get it. <laughs> Get a joint, fill in a big, ugly really, joint. Really discouraging. Yeah, it's it's a little disappointing when you see how sloppy they are on the inside yeah. of, a, of a chimney. Yeah. Um, but you know, piled up all the bricks and threw them down. We got it down to the, one stepped out and kind of leveled it off with some rubble there. Then looked at that flute tile and said, you know, I'm going to turn that over. Yeah, I can and, see where it was at. Yeah, you, know, you can kind of see there's yeah. a joint there. I got a picture from before. This is what it looked like, mm -hmm. kind of down in there. You see all this mortar yeah. coming in there? That's because they just yeah. piled mortar around it and squished it in. So we took it off, um, and there you can see kind of the mortar right. all around there. Knocked all that off and put a new bead of, of uh, high temperature mortar around it and set it down nice and square. So looking in, it's a nice mm. uh, thing. And then I actually went in and struck my mortar joint. Supposed to do so it's nice and smooth there. So you have one mortar joint in there that's nice. <laughs> so we put uh, one's better than one's better than none. Better than none, that's right. But got the uh, uh, form in the plastic down. The plastic makes a bond break, you know, so right. the concrete's yep. not we attached to the chimney. Got a bond break around the flue tile there, so when it expands, it has an expansion joint there. Got all that put down. You can see how jagged that flue tile is. Right, so right. Fix that. Then we proceeded to haul mortar up the up the uh, roof. Oh, concrete up the roof. Oh, concrete, that's right, not mortar. Got mortar on the brain. <coughs> different pictures I was working and you working. Appreciated that help yesterday. Oh. Yeah, you can yeah. see the concrete going in and, and then working on it. Hanging on to that real <laughs> secure <laughs> hang on, hold, hand hold. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Working a bit by bit and it got up, kind of roughened. Roughen it in, as it uh, would have been ideal if we could have let it sit an hour or two. It wasn't quite warm enough to get all the water off, but we finished it off the top and, and uh, got it nice and smooth there. And then came back today. It's the first yeah, one from today. Got, the, yeah. got it dried out and form still on there. Got a couple pictures there. Cut the flue tile down. Made a mess all over the top of the thing. So. Yeah. That's what happens. Yep. So we sprayed that off and then uh, put acrylic sealer on the top. That seals the concrete, holds all the moisture in so it can cure oh, over, okay. over 28 days. Rather than having to put a sprinkler on it and keep right. it wet for keep it wet. a month, okay. put this acrylic sealer and it just seals all the moisture in and holds it in for, so the concrete can cure. It's a lot easier than having to keep it wet. There was a little Katie did. I thought it was a leaf, mm. but it was a yeah, <laughs> little, little bug on the chimney. Got your cap back on, got that done. We did something new with our corners here. I thought it was kind of neat. Our forms where they fit together have a little gap, and we got mm -hmm. 
little putty sealant and sealed in the gap so that stuff doesn't run through it. Mm -hmm. and a much cleaner corner on the floors. Mm -hmm. First time we've done that, and it turned out pretty nice. Mm, okay, that's good. The expansion joint around the flue tile gets filled in with uh, silicone there, so it's good. Got a good doesn't, seal. Doesn't get water down it. Is there a time frame on that guy to ship mm -hmm. the, with a seal? A uh, about 50 oh. years, is what they say. 50? That's what they okay, say. Okay, I won't be around. That's what they say. So, I mean, I'd be 108, yeah. then I eat. We, have a, we, we check it regularly. We've, we've had to replace one or two of them. I've noted. I think I've replaced one or two. You can get it hot enough to burn the silicone. Yeah, it is. As tall as this is, though, I. I yeah, it's it's yeah. not likely, but there are. Yeah. It yeah, is it's possible. It's not likely, but if you were to have a chimney fire, or yeah. something, you, you could you could get it hot enough. Anything should occur then. Yeah. Right. But okay. that's the back side of it, and you can kind of see how it's yeah. nice and clean now. Uh, looks a little yeah. better. Looks quite a bit nice. I was holding the camera over my head, so it's not a nice straight picture. But, uh, and then it's starting to get dark, and my camera I tried to get an overall picture of it, and it's just not quite light enough. But that's what it looks like now. I'm done. And if you want to see what we did today, this is what we did today. I got my time lapse to work. Oh, that's so, cool. I like that. You can see the whole procedure there. That I'm going to do. That's and neat. Finish off the top, and going up and down, and then. Went down the roof, moved the chicken ladder around, and I took the sprayer. I had the chimney saver you spray two coats on. You have to go uh, brick by brick. brick. And make sure you saturate the whole chimney. So I went around and it's cool. Sprayed the whole thing. You turn up and you have to do that for every time we do that. So we can see how we took everything apart and set it down the roof. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. neat. I love it. Sprayed the roof off, kind of washed everything off, and then we're done. Didn't get a cool. picture of me taking the ladder down because I didn't camera. Well, the, first <laughs> <laughs> the camera would still be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't figured out how to do that yet. No, I guess we could put the ladder back up around the camera. And did that, but nah, it didn't work. Cool. I like that. That's, that's Thank what you. it is. And so you have a nice new crown, a waterproof chimney, and it should be a lot nicer than what you had. Should. Well, it's a comfort because nice. um, I knew it was cracked and you know, heading in that direction, so. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, all it wasn't going to get any better with time. No, nope, all <clears throat> chimneys do that, so. Yeah. It's fixed for you now. 